guys, just a reminder that English map testing is starting next Monday, April 19th. Tuesday through Friday, 7th grade will also be testing ELA as well. And 8th grade is going to be testing Monday through Friday. We will also be having block scheduling Tuesday through Friday. Good luck! Have fun! Yay! Oh, I stopped smiling at the end. Hey guys, this is just a quick reminder that map testing is coming up on April 19th. Here are 10 helpful tips from leadership. First, let's make sure we keep a good mindset in order to do our best. Make sure you read all of the questions completely. Stay hydrated. Be sure to eat a good breakfast before you take the map test. Flag questions that you don't know and come back. If you chew gum while studying, make sure to just chew the same type of gum during the test. For better map testing scores, make sure you're getting enough sleep. Make sure to take lots of brain breaks to keep your brain focused. Make sure to use the provided tools on the map test. Plenty of time, so don't stress out. Good luck. My name is Mrs. Harris. I teach seventh grade science and have so in this building for 22 years. Well, uh, about seven, eight years ago, I just got the idea of hatching the chickens in class. There are a lot of students that live in the city and they've never even uh, experienced anything like this. And I just think it's a good experience for the students to uh, see the little chickens hatch and to care for them. <music> There, uh, you know, I don't know yet. Uh, I don't remember uh, when I got them. It does take 21 days for them to hatch, and they're supposed to hatch April 14th. Well, once they hatch, we will leave them in the classroom. I have a big kiddie pool that the chicks will stay in, and students will play with them, oh, about the first 10, 12 minutes of class each day. And then after a couple of weeks, students will take them home. I, this year, I do have three little ducklings that we're gonna hatch also. Okay. And they're supposed to hatch April 14th.